Hello guys, it's Lego Titan 77 again I'm here with another Monster Fighters set review. This is on the Crazy Scientist and his Monster. It has 430 pieces, ages 8 to 14, 9466 is the set number. Um, it comes with four minifigures, two of which are exclusive, and the two two monster fi monster fighter guys are not exclusive. You get this car and basically this laboratory place. So we'll just get on with the figures. So first is Dr. Rodney Rathbone, I think that's his name. Has a pistol for shooting people. Killing victim, killing monsters. It's a rapier for stabbing monsters. Which I'm not going to take out of his hands because it just doesn't want to come out. Of course, he has that new robotic leg. And his torso printing is very nice. It's a stopwatch. It's back printing. Gray bowler hat. And really awesome face. Like I said, it's really cool looking. So, one of my favorite figures in this line. Next, I get my least favorite, the old guy, which is actually Quentin Steele. I didn't know his name in my werewolf review. But yes, he was in the werewolf set. He comes with his giant musket, which, you know, the gold pieces don't make sense at all. But he does come with an extra revolver, so he actually has something that will actually work to fight back. Has his white cap. Something special. Face is pretty cool. Torso's okay. Leg printing's not that great. It's the back. I just like the face because I just think that eye patch looks pretty good. So, those are the two heroes. Next, you get the crazy scientist. Which I don't have the minifigure one from the minifigure series, so. Uh, the same hair from that. For the crazy scientist in the minifigure series. It's all rubbery. Torso is brand new. I think those may be vices, vices and those probably are vice. No. Those are tons and these are vice grips. And he's beakers. And he's black legs and pretty cool looking face and double sided printed face. So, overall, he's pretty cool. He's the only set you can get him in. And finally, I have the monster. And I don't have the minifigure series of this guy either. But the monster looks very cool. Of course, he has this piece that kind of looks like his, you know, his upper eyebrows, all his hair, his stitches. And that's his face. He still has eyebrows. He has some torso printing and back printing. And he also looks like a zombie, so you can use him as a zombie, too. Um, next, on to the car, the jalopy car. It's pretty nicely made. I mean, it's a cool car. Here is a play feature. This pops out by a switch. And you're supposed to shoot this flick-fire missile, which I'm not going to do because I only have one hand. Well, fine. Yeah, plus I can't just push him out. So, then there's two flick fire missiles up here. Satellite, for, I guess, radio TV. That's just what popped in my head when I saw that. Flames in the back. There's. I'll show you what that's for later. There's a play feature for this. Sticker. And the bottom is um, lacking. And a seat for a figure there, seat for a figure there, and barely a seat for a figure in there. And the car is in pretty much sand blue, so it's a pretty nicely made car. On first on to the place where you make the monster. So real quick, gotta put the monster on this operating table. And it can move by that little wrench. And basically you just shoot these lasers at the monster's head to make him come to life. You can also get it to hold. So, um, back, it's kind of spare. This is what you turn. Some fire, some lightning, some trans, green tubes. And then here is the thunderstone, which looks like because there's thunder on it. 
but it's actually the moonstone and dark moonstone, moonstone and dark green. And I actually really like this dark green color. I think it this is probably one of the best moonstones. And it just fits on the top there. So that's basic. Well, then that's what the and then that little piece right there. I'll show you what that's used for in a second. Here is basically the main laboratory part. Um, over on this side, you have a skeleton bone, skull that glows in the dark, wrench, which looks like I don't know why those binoculars are there. I was trying to think of something. Two beakers, ruby and one beaker, and then one regular beaker. Here is a rat, which is just glow in the dark, so it's something special. And frog. And here is a jail cell for the old guy. Up here is a stupid catapult that you're supposed to shoot these green orbs at. And that was the very sucky throw. I mean, hit. There, they work. It works fine. Glow in the dark spider, which I'm not gonna really show the glow in the dark elements. And then this is what this uh, hook on the back of the car is for. So you take this um, chain. to the back of the car and basically it just do that and it's supposed to be like a breakaway break 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 out and pretty nicely made there's even a bench for the old guy to sleep on and the thing is the only I really wish that this web right here was going to be glow in the dark but it's just a white web but that would have been a really cool feature if it was glow in the dark uh the manuals I can't get to the manuals right now cuz like I said I only have one hand but here is the box. It's very, very... I have to back out all the way because this box is extremely long. You can see the crazy scientist and his monster features a light brick. You can see what's going on. Here they're fighting. Actual size of the monster. And back here is that same little comic thing except just as the monster. Glow in the dark elements. He he's getting the moonstone while he's getting taken away. And put in jail. He's breaking him out. So, and then that little poster there. So pretty nice set overall. I like it. I recommend this set. So, see you guys later. Till next time. Bye bye.